right, so we are heading into the city of Soldatna. We're gonna go check out a grocery store called Fred Meyer. We're gonna see what the prices are like in comparison to uh, where we came from, which was Texas. Uh, we just wanna show you a price comparison when it comes to basic grocery items. We got this idea to do this because um, Blake's parents um, have been to Fred Meyer since they've been here and they could not believe how much um, stuff costs up here. So we want to go ahead and do a, um, a cost comparison for you guys just to show you um, how much higher Alaska really is. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so we just pulled in the Fred Meyer parking lot and we just wanted to let you guys know that um, Fred Meyer is actually um, a sister store to Kroger, um, which is really popular in Texas and in the South. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Kroger. Um, but So at Fred Meyer, like Kroger, um, they have a gas station that you can use um, to get points and to get lower gas, um, which is really nice, especially in the summer here when gas prices are high. So just as a side note, throughout the video, we're going to show you guys pictures from Texas Kroger store um, that Blake's sister got. And we're going to show you the prices compared to um, the Fred Meyer here in Alaska. So this is where Blake and I um, go and do our shopping whenever we don't go to Costco. So in between Costco trips, especially now that we have Blakely, we're not going to be going to Costco as much um, right away. Um, we'll, we come here to do the majority of our shopping um, those weeks in between. So to start off our Fred Meyer tour, we stopped at the um, produce. Now, produce in Alaska is super expensive compared to Texas and other states that we have lived. It um, It's kind of a luxury to us here. We don't buy a lot of fruit, fresh fruit um, and vegetables. We will buy frozen or we'll go to Costco and buy frozen. Um, but produce here is a lot more expensive than what we're used to. Okay, so we just went through the meat department and as you can see, um, they're having sales, but the sales to us are still not really sales compared to Texas. And also, as you can see, a lot of it's gone. So you have to kind of plan ahead. And then another important thing to note is that it's very dependent on shipment here. We depend on trucks and cargo ships to deliver the stuff here, especially the meat and the produce. And that can leave the shelves uh, very limited for what's in stock. Look at all the empty boxes. So there are some really good sales um, at the grocery store here, but we have found that you have better get here when the sales start. So every Wednesday when they change the sales over, we try to come because it's already Thursday. And as you can see, the uh, meat selection was already picked over. The cheese selection is picked over now. We try to get here when the sales go into effect. $18.99 is a sell for Coke. All right, so as you could see, we just finished going down the water and Coke aisle and whoa. So um, Coke on sale for a 24 pack is $18.99. So that's another luxury for us in, in addition to like fresh produce or fresh fruit um, because that is just insane to us um, as compared to what we were paying in Texas. And 
just as a side note, um, we were talking to Blake's mom and she was saying that when she was shopping here, she noticed that every item, every item is one to two dollars more than it is in Texas. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start getting a lot of items every week, that really adds up. All right, so just based off my memory um, and being in Texas, um, we have paid a lot more for dairy here. That includes butter, milk, even cheese sometimes. It's definitely a big increase in dairy as well as produce. So as we're going through the store, I think it's pretty um, clear why we take the three hour drive to Anchorage to shop at Costco. Um, it's just so much cheaper than buying at our local grocery store. It has been a lot harder since Blakely's been born. We haven't been able to go to Costco as much as we would like to. Um, we're planning a big trip uh, coming up though in the next month or so. Um, but we, we really miss Costco because we're going through a lot of products and we're having to come to our local grocery store and pay more. But we're definitely glad that we are um, close to a grocery store um, for things. We don't have to drive too far, um, but it is nice to, you know, have all of our Costco items. All right, so here again with toilet paper and paper towels, you can see where prices um, are much higher than in the lower 48. So we have a lot of canning coming up soon and I was talking to Blake's mom about it and she also cans and she was saying that the um, ball jars here that um, here at Fred Meyer are $10 a case more than in Texas. That is a huge difference, $10. All right, so we just showed you a two pack of ketchup um, for $12.49. Now we can get a three pack of the same size ketchup at Costco for about that same price. All right, so now we're on my favorite aisle, the chip aisle. Um, but once again, this is a luxury because of the prices. Okay, 
Okay, so Cheetos are my favorite and they are never on sale. So this is a rare treat. Um, chips are super expensive and they only go on sale every so often. So we might have to grab some. We are actually going to be on our way home to go get Blake's parents and our littles, and we're going to go take them out for their anniversary dinner. Yeah, we made it here. Yay! Yeah. So this is a hotel restaurant. It's gotten lots of great reviews on it. Oh, catch! No good day. Yummy bread, huh? Yeah. That looks good. Take a bite. It's even. Oh, he wants the butter. <laughs> yummy? Wow, look at that. Uh, Looks good. Look at that burger. Yummy. And Harrison's got his french fries. Yeah, big boy. Yeah. Alright, one thing I wanted to note too is that the gas prices here are about three thirty nine. dollars Now, the lowest I've seen here in this area was around three ten. dollars and I feel like that's going to be the lowest I'm going to see all year long because during the summer, gas prices shoot up usually an extra dollar because of all of the people who are coming in for fishing and um, dip netting specifically on the two big rivers here in this area of the Kenai Peninsula. Yeah, so here in Soldatna, um, last year, the gas prices were, uh, in the summer, they were $4.20. Um, if not higher, I do remember that price for sure, if not higher. Um, yeah, so um, in the summer, we definitely pay more for groceries as well um, and gas. And so um, we'll show you that whenever the summertime comes. But they're trying to make the most money they can off the tourists who come through here. Because it's a big, uh, a big tourist attraction with the fishing. Yeah, and it's not just like uh, tourists from all over the 48. It's all over the world. But a huge population of Alaska also comes down to fish these uh, two big rivers in the Kenai Peninsula. So um, you're going to get to see that from us too. We are planning on going dip netting this year. And so that'll be a lot of fun and a good experience. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And we also just wanted to say, you know, thanks again for all the support. I know our videos have been a little bit slower than what we um, would like, um, but you know, with winter, it's a little bit harder and we just had a baby. So um, it's a little bit uh, harder to do some of the videos, but we have a lot of plans this summer. We're going to be doing a lot of building and um, canning and fishing and gardening. Um, we have a lot to uh, to a lot coming up with our cabin so stay tuned um so we just appreciate you guys uh continuing to support us during this kind of slow period what we call um but this summer we have a lot of stuff planned so stay tuned yep having a baby is uh <laughs> definitely something that changes your life that's for sure it does i mean it's definitely for the better but things are just going a little bit slower which is perfectly fine yeah um but we appreciate you guys watching and supporting us and we hope you guys have a good night. Yeah, we hope you enjoy the journey that uh, we're going to be on ourselves, you know, our life's little journey yeah. here in Alaska. Yeah. Uh, as we learn and uh, grow and... A lot of growing. So we appreciate you growing with us and coming along with us. We hope you have a good night and we'll see you next time. On Good Living Alaska. Bye. So we just got back from dinner and got some more packages and just wanted to show you guys and say a big thank you um, to those who um, shopped for Blakely. We cannot thank you enough um, for all the cute stuff. So the blanket and the snack container and the swaddle wraps and the mittens and the pacifier clips we got from Kelly. So big thank you for those items. And then we've got the sweet gift from Marlene. It was in a nice um, blue um, Amazon bag, which definitely gonna reuse um, with some shampoo. So that'll definitely come in handy for our sweet Blakely.